who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that its genetic information houses a person's strengths or destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm gonna choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from now on, I'm gonna just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to what will come. All life is tethered to the future. How the hell did you see that on the satellite? Each other, teaching each new generation. Then the world can change. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Look like she's a member from from stars. A member of stars. <laughs> Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission, or a reminder of the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today. I've lived only for myself. My survival instinct that tells me not to die. That's all the motive I've had in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name is David. <laughs> okay, so where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. I know we'll find it. Hey, what are those? Caribou. To the illusions, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us, too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. It's nice, isn't it? Being alive. Come on, let's enjoy life. <laughs>
Finally. <laughs> I think this is a bit longer. Probably we're gonna have more scenes and in, into the cutscenes and whatnot. My God. <laughs> I really don't know what I want to say about this game because, uh, as you might you heard further this Let's Play, the voice acting and and uh, some some of the scenes, some some of the scenes that Snake does is ridiculous. A strange. Uh, m movements. I know, I know, but I just can't take them seriously. Even if I want to joke about them, I just can't, because I know, I do, remember, I know Metal Gear has its own quirkiness from time to time. And then, I just don't know, it's just, it's, uh, I can't really put this up high with Metal Gear Solid. I wonder if it's because they tried to remake a PlayStation 1 game which it had different mechanics and um, really it just wasn't built around the whole uh, Sons of Liberty um, design. I wonder if that's the problem. And it was, a, it was strange I was having frame rate issues, of like I don't know why because I'm pretty sure the GameCube was more powerful than uh, the PlayStation 2 at the time. And, uh, yeah, it was just rather odd. I don't know, some of the, vo some of the voice acting is just really bad. Which I thought they were, like, imposters or something. <sighs> I really did want to like this. I didn't, uh, it was just, it's really hard to like a remake of a game that, that just doesn't live up to the same expectations you had for the first game. I just love the first game so much, and this one just doesn't feel the same. Maybe it's because I'm trying to treat it the same, that was the problem, and I, I, I said this early on in Let's Play, and I try to treat it on its own merits, but uh, I don't know. It just feels like a, a diet version of um, Sons of Liberty, if that makes any sense. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and I'll see you for the next one. Toodaloo.
You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Yes. Yes, sir. Thanks to the vaccine. Yes, those two are still alive. The vector? Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, there are no other records. They've all been deleted from the base's computer. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. Yes. Liquid is dead. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Of course, the other one thinks so, too. Yes, sir. I agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. Yes. Yes, sir. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I understand. The surveillance will continue. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President.